Hey y'all, so my mastectomy is tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning. That's when we have to be at the hospital. Um, it's supposed to be outpatient, so that's good. I guess it's about like 45 minutes to an hour away from here. Um, so tonight I have to do a few things to prep for it. I have to go ahead and start this anti-nausea patch. Um, you're supposed to just put it behind your ear at uh, night, the night before, and then also use this antiseptic uh, wash in the shower. So bathe with this half the bottle and then tomorrow I'll bathe with the other half in the morning before I go. Um, and I went ahead and got my other medicines. They gave me a muscle relaxer and a, um, a muscle relaxer. They gave me some pain killers and some Bactrim, which is my antibiotic that I'll start tomorrow. I also got, which these are what the scariest part to me, is these injections. I'll start 48 hours after my mastectomy. You can see my new light shining on this. But um, 48 hours after my mastectomy, I'll start these injections. I'll give them to myself and my legs, so that's kind of scary. Um, I don't like needles, but that's for five days. Um, some things I've read, people um, have an easy time and they just end up taking Tylenol a few days later, so that makes me hopeful. Um, so hopefully that's how it will go for me. And so I did get some other things too. I have showed y'all my bras already and their front closure it's cotton material um these are just fruit of the loom i got two of these they said pre-surgery size so i have this i'm going to take this tomorrow i'm going to wear some really loose yoga pants not like the tight yoga pants but like really loose ones they're actually a little big on me um and then i got this button up blouse or like nighttime you know sleep shirt and so it's so soft and they said bring one that's or wear one that's a little bit bigger for you uh, because you will be swollen and bandaged up so i've got that and then i got some makeup remover wipes because they say these are so good after i just picked these up at marshall's and then i got some deodorant that is anti i've never used this before but it's not anti it has no aluminum and baking soda so I guess, you know, those being a no-no for breast cancer and stuff like that. And since I am doing a prophylactic mastectomy, um, I feel like I should go ahead and be trying to do everything that's, you know, trying not to get breast cancer. But, you know, during my recovery, I really don't want to be using the bad stuff. So um, let me know if y'all have tried this before or what type of deodorant y'all recommend that's no aluminum and um let me know but i'm very nervous today has been like really emotional i let everyone on my facebook know and all of the um well wishes prayers good juju all that business and everybody being so kind um i don't know made me pretty emotional all day but i it's so weird because i don't mind telling strangers but when it comes to people that I know, it's like, I don't want to say anything, but I'm like, they could be going through it. So I went ahead and told everybody on Facebook. And so now, hopefully if anybody's going through it, they'll talk to me about it or if they have any questions or need any advice with, you know, I'm about to go through it in the morning. I am on a support group on Facebook. Um, it's the BRCA1 and 2 support group. I'll have to look it up. I'll put it in the... Um, in the description of this video but um i guess that's all i have to say for tonight i'm gonna take my shower in a little bit with my half of my bottle of the antiseptic i'm sure it's the same as the heba cleanse and um my husband and i are gonna hang out and i'm going to eat since i can't eat after midnight so I'm going to kind of veg out on the couch with some 
chips and dip and stuff. But, oh, and then do my patch behind my ear. But, so, that's all. But, y'all, please pray for me and send all the good juju and all that business my way. Um, and let me know if you have any advice for recovery. I hear drink lots and lots of water and don't get behind on the pain meds. Those are the two that I keep hearing. And I did get a pillow for behind, um, like a dorm pillow or a college study pillow. And then I also made my mastectomy pillow, which you can find on my blog, um, Life with Hill um, blog. And then also, um, what else? There was something else. Oh, I got a tool belt from Lowe's. It was like $3 and some change for my drains, which I will show y'all all of that and how it works with my drains when I get back. Um, but, all right, that's all. Thank you. Bye.